Retired Jacksonville-based Navy Captain John Nettleton takes the stand in his own defense at his federal trial. Nettleton is charged with obstruction of justice and lying to investigators in the 2015 disappearance and death of Christopher Tour at Guantanamo Bay. The two got into a fight two nights before searchers found Tour's body floating in the water. News for Jack reporter Allison Henning has been inside the courtroom all day. She's joining us live from the federal courthouse downtown. Allison, what was the reaction when the court heard Nettleton was going to testify? Well, Tom, I know a lot of people in the courtroom were surprised when Nettleton's attorney said he was going to testify. He was on the stand for several hours today, and things here actually just wrapped up about an hour ago. The testimony started by breaking down Nettleton's long and notable record with the military and his role at Gitmo, where he commanded about 600 sailors and civilians. Nettleton's defense then dove right into some direct questions, asking the retired Navy captain if he had any intention to obstruct the investigation into the death of Christopher Tor, which he said he did not. Next, they asked about Nettleton's sexual relationship with Tor's wife, Laura. Nettleton said he did have sex with her once at a hotel at NAS Jacks in November 2014. When talking about the night he and Tor got into a fight, Nettleton admitted he was intoxicated. He recalled Tor yelling at him outside the Bayview before the XO got things under control and told Nettleton to go home. Nettleton claims when he got home, he briefly talked with his daughter. He says the next thing he remembers after that is laying on the kitchen floor, hearing Tor saying, wake up, Marine, wake up, Marine, come on, get up, Marine. Nettleton said he was confused, disoriented, and the back of his head hurt, and he was also trying to figure out what exactly was going on. Nettleton says Tor was cycling through different emotions, which eventually led to a fight between the two of them. He stood up in court to show the jury exactly how it happened from his point of view. Nettleton says Tor grabbed his shirt, ripping it, then pushed him into a wall. The two went back and forth before Nettleton says he punched Tor in the nose. Right now, we are in the middle of cross examination here. It is expected to pick back up tomorrow at 930 in the morning, of course, followed by closing arguments. We do plan to be here for all of that. Reporting live downtown, Allison Henning, Channel 4, the local station.